Maria, talk to me about how you get yourself out there and not feel like you're not being authentic, not being yourself in a closing situation. I feel like your personality goes a long way um, in a deal cycle, right? Like the person needs to connect with you. You need to build rapport. Otherwise, the deal is never going to close. Mm. And so I feel like it is a fine line between, okay, this is what we need to talk about, like setting an agenda, setting expectations. This is, we have to go through those motions and, you know, getting, you know, totally into a different place where you're not supposed to be going. So it's a really nice balance. It's a fine line, but you absolutely need to be yourself in those calls. You need to show personality and you need to build rapport with your customers. AJ, what are the tough questions? You said we have to yeah. get to the tough questions. Define a tough question. Well, I think something that I've noticed that has like thrown me off track too. And like, you have to really be real with yourself. Like no one, if there's anyone that's going to be sugarcoating things, it's like maybe it should be like your manager to be like, hey, you're doing a great job. And like, obviously you should be, you know, confident in things, but like you have to really like pick apart your process and find out where you're going wrong. And something that I do a lot is like, I'll get happier. Someone's like, Hey, this sounds great. And I'm like, fantastic. I'm not going to dig any deeper. I'm not going to ask these tough questions, but like, there's things that you know that you need to know and that you want to ask, but you're afraid it's going to throw the deal off. You're afraid that it's going to come across abrasive or aggressive, whatever it is. But like, those tough questions are really important. And so like writing those out in advance of like, hey, what do I really need to get from this person and find out a way to ask them because tiptoeing around them is just gonna create a pitfall later in your deal that you're like, man, I had no idea they were evaluating these people or I had no idea budget was such a big issue because you didn't ask those things because you were afraid to ask them or they were like uncomfortable questions. So like lean into that uncomfortableness always and you'll be way happy you did even if it means like you have to get that deal out of your pipeline, at least you figured out that that's not a real op. And like that has to, that has to go and you can focus on better ones. Finding out that it's not a real op is a win for mm -hmm. account executives. Right. I feel like, I feel like we Im immediately attach that to a, a feeling of loss. And yeah. the truth is that when you figure out that you can remove something from your pipeline, that's a win in my eyes. Yeah. Uh, okay. If the juice is not worth the squeeze, you don't want to go there. I, yeah, just tell me early though, so I don't have to like squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and, <laughs> and find out there ain't no juice, right? Yeah. Uh, Nor do okay. I want like my managers to look at it and be like, "Oh, AJ's pipeline is huge. Like That's he's gonna crush this quarter." And I'm like, actually, like half of these deals are not for real. It's like get those for real deals in there and get not for real deals out of there. 